Hey guys, Overkill here again. Uh, been a while, but I'm gonna hit up my local big lots and see if they got any WWE elites or anything in there of the sort. Hoping for something good, some good clearance finds or something. We pretty need to find something. So let's go ahead and see what they got. Torin would really like that. He's big into those. Transformer. Oh man, that's pretty neat for him too. Titan Heroes. More grocery game. Let's see. There's all the kitty toys and stuff. We go tuba cars. Alright, what we got over here? Board games, some old military sets, three and three quarter scale, some dinosaurs. <laughs> got a camel, and we got a horse. TMNT in here. A little steep for him. Oh, yeah. Let's see. Craft the Barbarian. A little keychain. Much of the new line in here already. Ten bucks. Some Hot Wheels. And some Power Rangers. Got some hot wheels here. See if I spot anything. Mean. No dice. So let's continue the search. Let's see nothing for WWE yet. We'll check the next dial over. More board games. There's some more hot wheels. Let's take another gander at these. Ended up only being one Camaro on both sides, and I already got it. So, let's continue to see if there's any other displays around right here. Looks like it's a bust, fellers. Some good stuff. Best Buy still book Resident Evil Afterlife. It's not bad. I need this one. I may get that. It's not bad for ET either. That's a still book too. Decisions, decisions. I'll figure this out and I'll get back to you what I get. So I'm at Walmart. We was looking at the claw machine. You know, they were trying to win some Care Bears. And I was looking and I'm like, holy crap. And in the corner, from way back, years ago, the little Dragon Ball figures in this little Namco machine. You can see another one. You can see the design or the you see the lines of the boxes all holding up all the stuffed animals. And those things go for killer money now. So it's like it's crazy. There's no way of getting them out and they just left there. I feel like taking a sledgehammer to it. But I just wanted to share that with you guys. That's that's pretty crazy. So that's it guys for my small hunt at Big Lots. I uh, struck out on getting any figures. I was really hoping to find some WWE elites uh, on a good price, but it didn't work out. Uh, I thought I was going to walk away with nothing, actually. And as I was going out, if you've seen towards the end of the video, I ran across the Blu-rays and DVDs. Saw some good deals. First off, I picked up 
Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation Volume 1 for 288. And this set has 13 episodes in it. I know it's not the best representation of the Ninja Turtles, but I thought, heck yeah, 288. That's pretty much a steal in my book. Cowabunga, guys. And then, in the Blu-rays, you saw me trying to figure out which one to get. I decided on The Amazing Spider-Man 2 for 5 bucks. Uh, this is the only copy they had there that actually had the sleeve still over it. And this is the Blu-ray uh, 3D, the regular Blu-ray, the DVD, and the digital HD in one bundle. Pretty awesome. I do have the original Amazing Spider-Man. I'm glad to have the sequel as well. Uh, not as big of a fan as this one as I was the first one, but it's still good to have for my superhero movie collection nonetheless. And lastly, on the DVD fronts, I was totally shocked. Uh, it don't have a price tag on. I already opened it. But for $3, I found Transformers Season 2, Volume 1, which, as you know, is the introduction of the Dinobots. The, the Dinobots are my favorite Transformers, period, especially Grimlock. And this set has 28 episodes, and for $3, I'm like, there's no way I can pass this up. I had to definitely get this set. Four DVD set. I think the disc one's out of it right now while we were watching it. It's pretty cool artwork on the inside. You see Bumblebee. And it gives you the list of all the episodes. Pretty dope. Disc one, Dinobot Island Part 1 and 2. That's what it's about. And there's my favorite Decepticon on this disc, Soundwave. It's got different characters on each. Pretty awesome. So for $11, I got some really awesome stuff to watch. Very killer. And next up, um, I didn't film going in, but I did hit up my local Walmart a couple times. Uh, the one in uh, Bristol, Virginia, and then the one in Bristol, Tennessee. And I copped some pretty awesome stuff. So let me find them, and I'll come back with it. So for my Walmart finds, I actually got some pretty cool stuff that I liked personally for clearance. First up is this Pokemon card game bundle pack. Um, it comes with a special card here you can see. It's kind of foil. It does have a booster pack inside. And it's got a coin of Lucario. All for $2.50. Uh, originally a $5 pack. So pretty awesome. This is Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. So this is really not that old of a set. Pretty awesome, two fifty for that one. And then I can't remember which order I got them in, but first up, when I was going through the one in Bristol, Virginia, I come across this guy, which is my Justice League Batman from the Steppenwolf series, and you can tell he's marked down pretty big to five dollars. Pretty awesome. This is my first. Uh, figure in this set to build Steppenwolf I know that uh, Hot Cheeto Fingers definitely check his page out if you guys haven't yet but he's got a piece to the Steppenwolf for me so I may try to see how cheaply I can build this guy um, can't go wrong with a Batman figure for 5 bucks I know that the DC figures aren't that great but heck I'll take it for that price any day and then next up was that the one in Bristol Tennessee and it has no price tag on it, but it was also a $5 find, which was another Batman. And this is Batman the Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman from the Doomsday Wave. He's actually got Doomsday's head in the package. And he's the only one I have from this wave. I was wanting Superman Doom. If I had him for 5 bucks, I totally would have copped it as well. But they didn't. Still pretty cool. Two new Batmans for my collection. You can tell he's collecting dust. They've sat on the shelf so long, it's about time they mark the prices down on these guys. And then, not pictured here, is the WWE Elite that I picked up for my daughter, which is the Razor Ramon with the little Hawaiian shirt on. Comes with a piece to the Heartbreak Hotel. I'd already give that to her. She's got it in her collection already. Um, hopefully, she'll show it off on her channel. But I did find me an Elite. I was amazed to find for $3.00. He's already open, but I got to show you my favorite of the new generation wrestlers, Seth freaking Rollins. And it is the newest version of him. It comes with the Intercontinental and the Tag Team Championship. And the face scan technology on this guy is awesome. Very glad to have this in my collection. I thought for three bucks, I usually don't open my WWE figures, but for that price, heck yeah. Open them up and display them, especially with those championships. 
Now I'm going to try to find me somebody's got a universal title so I can have for him. So it can match up to this year's WrestleMania. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for my haul. Um, hope you enjoyed the hunt video previously. I hope you enjoyed some of the stuff I got. Let me know in the comments which was your favorite of the stuff I did get. And until next time, guys, I bid you farewell.